three, four o'clock in the afternoon. This is more of a wintry mix, and this is kind of bad timing because this is when kids are getting out of school and we have the commute going on as well. And that's really when the temperatures are looking just a little bit iffy in parts of the state. Now, the highest likelihood of seeing a light glazing of ice would be to the north and west of the metro, right around Audubon, and then it shifts over to snow right around Fort Dodge in between Highway 30, Highway 20, right around 10 p.m. on Thursday. This would be the band of heavy wet snowfall that will be lifting off to the east northeast, but it really looks like the event will be over by Friday morning. Friday afternoon will be dry and most of your weekend looks dry. Here's a big picture of the storm system, and I point this out only if you do have travel plans, but you can see that band of snowfall really impacting parts of Minnesota around midnight on Friday and continuing to lift to the east northeast by 8 a.m. Again, this is rain right around Chicago yet Friday morning and by Friday afternoon all looks calm but cloudy definitely across the state. Now this is new some light precipitation early Saturday morning over parts of Minnesota. Some rain continuing to the south. Not a lot happening here in central Iowa, but a little light activity possible early Saturday morning. Now the rainfall totals have definitely dropped, but it still looks like parts of the state could get a quarter to a half inch. There may be some isolated inch amounts. And in terms of a light glazing device, that's really all we're seeing for that. This is where the heaviest snow continues to set up.